In my last video, I set up a Raspberry Pi to mount an NFS server uh, from a NAS. Uh, in this video, I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi um, and set it up as an NFS server. So I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 2 uh, using the Raspbian operating system. And I'm going to, uh, the drive I'm going to use um, for the NFS is going to be an external uh, one terabyte NTFS formatted uh, external drive. Okay, so before we configure the uh, NFS server, we um, first have to mount the drive we're going to use. And I'm going to use a uh, Seagate external one terabyte drive. And um, so this is how you would mount that. And I'm um, secure shelled into the Raspberry Pi. So the first thing I want to do is create a directory for the mount point. So you just do make dir. And I'm going to create mine off of media, and I'm going to call it Seagate because it's a Seagate drive. Um, you can call it whatever you want. Okay, so so next you need to know um, what drive, what drive partition uh, that external drive is. And right now the the drive is actually connected to the Raspberry Pi, but it's not mounted. So since it's connected, you can run a command called fdisk dash l for list. That'll I got to do this root f disk dash l. Okay, so this will show you the devices, the drives that are attached. Okay, so this first one is that's going to be the micro SD card that contains the operating system, and you can kind of tell that because it's going to contain generally two partitions. One's going to be the FAT32, and the other's going to be Linux. So that's not the one we want. It's going to be this next one. And usually external drives are going to start with like SD. And then if you have multiple, they'll start at A. And if you have more than one, they'll go on to B and C. Okay, so this is the one we're looking at. And you can tell also because of the size. So I know it's a one terabyte drive. Okay, so the device name uh, is slash dev slash SDA1. So A, A is the drive. And then the number after that is the partition. And this only has one partition, and it's NTFS, OK? So those are the things you, you need to know when you mount this. OK, so and since it's NTFS, um, I believe with Raspberry Pi, at least from what I've read, there's a package you need to use called uh, NTFS-3G. The NTFS might work, but from what I understand, for Raspberry Pi, you need to you need this one. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and install that, and then when we edit the etc fs tab file, that's where we're gonna use this uh, NTFS dash three G. Okay, um, so now that that's installed, the next thing you want to do is to edit the slash etc slash fs tab file and you want to be careful editing this file because you could uh, hose things up um, we're, we're not going to edit any of the existing li lines we're just going to um, add a new line a new entry for that external drive and this file just tracks uh, which drives are mounted and when the Raspberry Pi boots up it'll read this file and know how to mount those devices okay so we're gonna go um, I'm gonna put dev slash SDA 1 and then we're gonna go tell it where we want to mount it to and that's gonna be to the directory we just created to so media slash Seagate and then you tell it the partition type and this is where you do the NTFS dash 3G defaults. And actually, I'm going to put some permissions on here. So I want it to mount as the Pi user. So you do. And this is all kind of optional. And you might want to just read up on this and set it up how you want to. But I'm going to do it as the Pi user and group. So that's where you do 1000 as a group ID on the Raspberry Pi for the Pi user and group. And then I'm just going to set some default masks for files and directories that get created. Uh, 
Let's see. Rewrite. Okay. Okay, so that's that's gonna mount the drive on boot up. So I'm gonna exit this. And then uh, I'm gonna reboot and stop the video. And uh, we'll verify that it got mounted. Okay, so uh, I've rebooted the Raspberry Pi and secure shelled back in. And we're just gonna verify that the, uh, the drive is mounted under Seagate and it is and these are just a bunch of files that Seagate pre-installs on there just a bunch of junk um, but uh, so so the drives installed so now what I'm going to want to do is um, create the actual directory um, for the NFS so any, any everything under this directory is going to be available through the server okay and you can see the the mount is owned by Pi. Um, that's usually how I mount these, but I will probably I'll just go ahead and create the NFS directory as a root. So that's why I'll start off at sudo. This is going to be just an internal uh, NFS server. It's not going to be available um, outside my local network, so I'm not quite as careful with uh, permissions and ownership as I would be. Okay, so we're gonna. Uh, Make make their media Seagate, and I'm just gonna call it NFS. And again, I'm gonna uh, just open up the permissions, uh, read readable and writable by everyone. Okay, and let's make sure it's there. I'm sure it is, but okay, so. Actually, it did create it under Pi uh, because it's mounted as Pi. Okay, so anyway, uh, NFS is there. Um, okay, so the next thing you need is going to be a couple of packages: uh, NFS common, NFS dash common, and NFS dash server. So I'm going to go ahead and install those. I don't think those are installed by default on Raspberry Pi. NFS common might be. But we'll go ahead and install those. Yeah, NFS Commons already on there. Okay, so next we want to modify uh, a file called exports, and you have to do that as root. Okay, so I'm going to vi etc exports. Okay, and these these hashes means uh, those are comments. So they they give you some examples. I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, enter a line for this mount. Okay, so the first thing you give it is the uh, the directory of the mount, which was Seagate NFS. Okay. In this next part, you you can give it individual um, IP addresses or um, host names that you want to allow to um, access the NFS. I'm going to let everything on my local network access it, so I'm going to do 192.168.1 and give it the beginning address of the subnet, which is 0, and then I'm going to give it a mask, so it's going to be 255-255. Do 55.0. So that mask means anything can access the um, the NFS service on the subnet of 192.168.1. So anything from 0 to 255, 1.0 to 1.255. Okay. So then then you give it the permissions. Um, I want read write, and then sync. Sync has to do with how data is written to the NFS storage. If you if you do asynchronous, there's a small chance that if you lost power or something, you could corrupt the data. If you use sync, um, there's a lot less chance of that happening. It's a little bit of, of a performance hit using sync, but it's a little safer. Okay. So 
I exit that. Okay, so then let's see the next thing we want to do. We have to um, uh, enable uh, RPC bind. You do that as root. So you do sudo update dash rc dot d rpc pc bind enable okay and then we have to uh, restart rpc bind so we do sudo service rpc bind start okay then the last thing you want to do is sudo um, export fs. Okay, so our NFS service should be running now. So what I'm going to do is go log into a client machine and um, set up a, a share an access to that NFS service so we can actually see, uh, see what's in that directory. And I'm going to go ahead and load some sample files in that directory as well. Okay, so I rebooted the Raspberry Pi uh, to start the NFS server, and now I'm logged into uh, a Linux Mint system, so I'm going to mount that NFS share on this laptop, and it's just going to be a temporary mount. Um, if you want to see how to permanently mount an NFS share, I did that in my last video. Um, okay, so I'm going to create a directory to mount this new... Uh, share and I'm gonna put it under SRV and I'm just gonna call it Raspi okay so now I'm gonna just uh, mount it so I give it the IP address of the Raspberry Pi that's running the service so that's 192.168.1.154 colon slash okay so then I give it the directory on that system where the NFS share exists so that was a uh, media Seagate NFS and then where I want to mount to so that's going to be the directory I just created okay Okay, I took a few minutes. Let's make sure it's there. And I created a directory under there called audio, and I just put one audio file. So just an example of maybe streaming audio from there. Let's see, I don't remember how to do this. Um, open location. So I want to browse to SRV. Okay, so Raspberry Pi. So now I'm on the NFS share. There's that one. And so, so it's streaming that um, audio file. And I don't know that I would want to do. Let me pause this. Or just stop it. Um, I don't know if how well streaming video would work. Certainly not high def video like 1080p. Only because on that Raspberry Pi, recall if you're using an external drive, those are USB 2.0 ports, so they're a little slower. Um, even with the new Raspberry Pi 3, I think those only have USB 2 ports. So you may be able to stream maybe some low res movies. You could probably you try high res. I'd be surprised if, um, if if those would stream very well. They might. Um, but anyway, uh, so there it is. That's how you would set up an NFS share on a Raspberry Pi using an external USB drive. Thank you for watching the video.